Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a two week meal plan and grocery haul with you. Even though things are a little bit weird right now, I am still trying to shop my freezer and pantry before I make my meal plan. And right now I do have a lot of meat on hand, so I really didn't need to buy any this week. And since I didn't have to buy meat, I was able to buy a few things that I don't usually buy. So with that being said, let's get into the meal plan. So here is my two week meal plan. Now, like I said, I do have a lot of meat on hand right now, so I didn't need to buy anything with the exception of hot dogs, but I had all the ingredients for the most part for this meal plan, so let's go over it. So Cody has been asking for sloppy joes, so we're gonna do that on Saturday. I did have hamburger buns on my list, but somehow it did not make it onto my Kroger order. So I do have maybe like two or three buns left in the fridge that we'll use, and then I guess we'll just eat bread from the other ones and then sunday we're going to do cajun chicken pasta this is one of my favorite recipes it is so good and some of you guys have asked if i could do a video on this and i'm gonna try but i am very picky when it comes to doing videos and sometimes i film a video and then i watch it and it's just not it, it, it's, it's not good so i ended up deleting all the footage and then have to start over i actually did that a few times with my potato soup recipe but yeah, we're gonna do that on Monday. That is one of our favorites. Tuesday, I have a whole chicken in the freezer, so I am going to put that in the oven. I usually do um, like an apple, onion, and lemon, and I stuff it inside, and then I season the outside with salt and pepper, and also the inside too. And then I put like a garlic or butter over it. It is so good. And then I'm going to use the leftover chicken from that for a couple meals. So Wednesday, we're going to do bacon ranch chicken enchiladas. This is a new recipe and it sounds really strange, but I had like almost all the ingredients I needed for that. So we're going to do that. Thursday, we're going to do a taco soup in the crock pot. I'm actually going to do like a meatless version of this. So I hope that turns out good. And then Friday, we're going to do black eyed pea casserole, which is one of my favorites and a good way to use up all the black eyed peas that I have. For the next week on Saturday, we are going to do taquitos. This is also another new recipe. I'm trying out, I think, maybe three recipes on this meal plan. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Sunday, we're going to do baked potatoes. I actually forgot an S on that. My bad. And then I'm going to do some chicken in the crock pot, and then it'll be like barbecue baked potatoes, basically. Monday, we're going to do breakfast burritos. I love having breakfast for dinner. It's one of my favorites. Tuesday, plantation supper. This is a really easy, simple recipe, and I have all the ingredients for that. Wednesday, we're going to do hot dogs. Somebody has actually commented before how we actually eat like normal, simple meals. And yeah, I like to keep things really simple. And hot dogs is one of the things that Aria loves. So we usually eat hot dogs pretty often. Thursday, we're going to do chicken leg quarters. I'm probably going to bake these in the oven with some lemon pepper seasoning. Mm, it is so good, you guys. And then Friday, we're going to do chicken tenders and fries, I think. I make these in my air fryer. They are super good and super easy. All right, guys, so here is my grocery haul. I did do a Kroger pickup order because we still aren't really leaving the house yet. Cody went to pick up these groceries this morning, and he arrived at the time that I had selected for our groceries to be picked up. But when he got there, they weren't ready yet, which is understandable because I'm sure that they are super busy but the guy working did credit us $5, so that was really nice. I did have some substitutions that I will go over with you guys. So the first one is I ordered two of these 10 pound bags of potatoes, but they only had one. So they gave me that one and then a five pound bag. It should be okay. I do have a lot of potato things on the meal plan, but I'll just cut back somewhere and we should be fine. I ordered two three pound bags of Gala apples and they didn't have them so they subbed them for the two pound bags of the Simple Truth organic Gala apples. Um, this is fine with me but as you can see one of those apples is bad so I'll probably just take that one out and compost it. These were also a substitution. I think I ordered maybe another brand of mandarins. I'm not really sure, but we ended up with the halos and Aria has already gotten into these. Like I said, we picked up groceries this morning and she has already eaten three of these. I got a three pound bag of onions. I got this pack of potatoes for when I make baked potatoes. I thought maybe that these would be a little bit bigger, but they really weren't. So I think this might have just been a waste of money, but oh well. I got a squash and then I got a lemon to stuff into my whole chicken. I got some baby carrots. These green bell peppers were another substitution I ordered, just regular bell peppers, and they only had the organic. 
And then I also ordered a red bell pepper. I got some bananas. And then these are the non-food items that I got this week. So I had ordered the Lysol lemon cleaner stuff. There's so much stuff on my counter that I can't even really show you guys. But anyways, I ordered Lysol and they were out. So they gave me Fabuloso. I would rather have gotten Lysol. But, you know, if they don't have it, they don't have it. And then I got this cheap VO5 conditioner because I've been making moon dough with Aria and she really loves it so I wanted to get something cheap just so we don't use up all of our conditioner this stuff was only a dollar this is not something that I would usually buy we don't really eat off of paper plates or use plastic forks or anything like that but I wanted this because of the knives in there I did plant some seeds and stuff and I wanted to use knives to mark what they were so I don't forget so yeah I just picked up two boxes of those I feel like I had a lot of substitutions this week, but this was another one. So I ordered the pack of Kroger chips that has the pretzels in it because Cody and Aria really like pretzels, but this is what they gave me. And this is fine. I do like all of these flavors except for salt and vinegar, but Cody will probably eat those. But I wish I would have known that they didn't have that because then I would have just ordered like a big bag of pretzels. I had a digital coupon for some free Blue Diamond almond milk. So I got the banana almond milk thinking that maybe Aria would like this. She has stopped breastfeeding and all she drinks is water. So I thought this would be something different for her to try. She does like bananas, but she doesn't really care for almond milk. So we'll see how that goes. I got a gallon of milk and then I also got this expensive bottle of heavy whipping cream. This thing's like $5, but I needed that for my potato soup. And then I also use that in mashed potatoes now and it is so good. By the way, I will leave a link to my potato soup up in the iCards. I went a little crazy on the cheese this week. It was on sale for $1.88 and I had an 85 cents off two coupon that I used. Definitely not the best price, but it is better than what I have been paying. So I picked up six bags of this and then I got a big block of the Colby Jack cheese for Aria. This was the only meat kind of thing that I got this week. I ordered just like the original Bar S hot dogs, but they subbed it for the Jumbo Franks, which is fine with me. I do not know how to pronounce that word, but <laughs> um, one of the recipes that I'm gonna be trying out this week calls for that. So we went ahead and picked that up. And then I ordered some of the Kroger cookie dough, but they were out, so they subbed it for the Nestle Toll House. I went ahead and got a big container of sour cream because I'm gonna be using a lot of sour cream for my meal plan, so I didn't wanna run out, so I just wanted to go ahead and get the big one. And then the yogurt was another substitution. This one I am a little bummed about. I ordered the whole milk yogurt for Aria and they subbed it for a low fat yogurt. I wanted that extra fat in there, but I guess this will have to do. I got some crackers because while I was ordering my groceries I saw peanut butter crackers and that sounded really good so I just went ahead and got the crackers and figured that I could slap some peanut butter on them myself and that would just be good for a snack and then I got Aria some chocolate animal graham crackers I'm sure she is going to love this she really likes Teddy Graham so I figured this is basically the same thing she's definitely my child she loves anything chocolate I got some broccoli and I also got 40 cents off my broccoli because of a digital coupon, so that was really nice. And then I ordered four cucumbers and some green onions and you guys, these smell so, so good. So you guys know that I don't really buy this kind of stuff very often, but we had to do a small grocery haul last week, which I probably should have shared with you guys, but I was just being really lazy. Anyways, we got these El Monterey Southwest Chicken Extra Crunchy, crunchy Taquitos and you guys, these are so, so good. I cooked them in my air fryer and they were amazing. If you have not tried these, you totally should. But yeah, we got two boxes of those. We got some french fries and then I ordered Kroger tater tots, but they subbed them for the Orita. I got some peanuts and then some vegetable oil. I ran out of Parmesan cheese like a month ago and I meant to get some in my last order, but I didn't, so I had to get it this week. And then I ordered two cans of the Kroger refried beans, but they subbed it for the old El Paso, which is fine, you know, it was still the same price as the Kroger ones. But I was a little bummed because I did have a coupon for the Kroger ones and obviously that's not gonna come off the old El Paso. So I did end up paying a little bit more than I wanted to, but it works out. I got four cans of green beans, four cans of corn, and four cans of peas. This queso is actually for tonight. I forgot to order this in my last grocery order, but yeah, this is going to be for Cody's um, Crispitos tonight. And I ordered some thick and chunky salsa. I tried out a Spanish rice recipe last week, I think, that was really good. 
Um, I do need to make a few changes to it, but I wanted to try it again. So I went ahead and picked up some salsa for that. I got some diced green chilies and then also some tomatoes and diced green chilies. And then I also got some hot tomato sauce. I got some lemon pepper seasoning. I really like this on chicken and I also need it for my Cajun chicken pasta. I got five cartons of chicken broth. I know I should probably be making this myself, but I haven't, so I just went ahead and bought them. I got this applesauce thinking this might be a good snack for Aria. I don't know if she's ever had applesauce, but we're gonna give that a shot. I still have some graham crackers and marshmallows left from when we did s'mores, and I just figured we would go ahead and use up the graham crackers, so I got some more Hershey's chocolate bars, and these were actually buy two, get one free. I got some flour tortillas, a five pound bag of rice, two dozen eggs, and then eight bottles of soda. I got some more ice cream, so again, we got mint chocolate chip and chocolate chip cookie dough. We're honestly probably not eating the healthiest right now, but it is what it is. And then we did get two cases of water, and I also got like 50 cents off my water because of a digital coupon, which is cool. So as you can see, my balance was $153.94, but then they did take that $5 off, so it ended up being $148.94. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.